Hi again, my stitchy friends. My name is Shauna and welcome to the Adelaide Cottage um, floss tube. Uh, this is my second video. Um, today is Tuesday, April 10th, um, 2018. And if you didn't catch my first video, I'm also, I'm a multi-crafter, so I do podcast about knitting, um, a little bit of crochet, but mostly knitting and hand dyeing yarn. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, you can check out those videos also on this same channel. But what I'm going to do um, now and in the future, um, be sure to subscribe if you enjoy my videos so that you're alerted of new ones when they come out. But I'm going to make a playlist on my channel so that it's easier for anyone here for FlossTube to be able to access all my FlossTube videos without having to sift through knitting videos. So when you go to my channel, you just click playlists and all my floss tube videos will be there. So it'll be nice and easy. So welcome back. Um, I'm recording from a suburb of Buffalo, New York, where I was born and raised. And I live here with my husband, our two young boys and our two cats. Um, so today it's been a week. I got quite a bit of stitching done for me, at least. Um, which I'll show you in just a minute. I don't have any finishes this week, but I do have two new starts, which I made quite a bit of progress on. Um, but first I wanted to thank everybody who has watched my first video, and of course who came back for this one, um, and who have subscribed. Um, it really means a lot to me. I I love watching floss tubes. I love watching knitting videos, and... Um, it's really nice to be a part of this community as well. So thank you all for the warm welcome and um, a couple of floss tubers who shouted me out, which was awesome, or mentioned me. Um, I usually don't say shout out, but... Um, so the first one was Jeannie Swartz. Uh, she has her own floss tube channel. She's a sweetheart. She, all of her projects that she has going, I adore. Um, so we have a similar style and projects. Um, so I will link her channel below in the description box so that you can check her out as well. Um, and also, I'm sure everybody knows, um, about Priscilla and Chelsea's channel, but I'll also link them below. Um, last week I mentioned, um, a couple of thrift items that I found that I would like to use to finish some of my pieces. Um, with inspiration from Priscilla. Um, but I didn't talk much about their floss tube. Um, but I would just like to say that I look forward to it every single Saturday. They post once a week. It's a mother-daughter duo. I'm Like I said, I'm sure you've heard of it, but there are a lot of um, knitters that are tuning in and kind of taking up cross-stitch again or as a new hobby, and I think that's wonderful. Um, so if you haven't checked out Priscilla and Chelsea, I highly recommend it. Um, lots of inspiration there, lots of finishing ideas, and things like that. And um, I think next week, if you guys are interested, I will talk about a bunch of floss tubers that I completely adore. Um, there are a lot. It's, it's just a warm, inviting community, just like knitting is. So it's very exciting to be a part of it. Um, but I did receive quite a few wonderful comments and a few questions on my last video, so I wanted to address the comments here. And if you guys have any questions at all, um, now or in the future, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section and I will try to address them in the comments. If not, I will address them in the next video. Um, so the first question I got was from Beth, um, and she wanted to know where i how I found the Easter Peep design um, by Brenda Gervais. And that I bought from the Silver Needle. I feel like their website's a little bit difficult to navigate. You have to scroll down quite a bit to find it. Um, but if you Google Easter Peep by Brenda Gervais, you should be able to find it. And she also sells it on her website. Um, I think it's called uh, Country Stitches maybe. Um, but occasionally she has the website down because um, she's just got a lot going on. So Betty asked um, 
or was talking about the the hem. Um, I showed a piece that my friend stitched for me and it included a verse or a excuse me a line from one of my favorite hymns and that was called in the garden um and it was it's sang in churches and everything but it was sang on the voice by emily um emily ann roberts on the voice a couple seasons ago and that's when i fell in love with it um it has become my very favorite song um and i told my friend emily that that was my favorite verse in the song and that's why she put that on the piece so it was very very pretty check it out if you if you um didn't watch the first video um next was kathy she asked what floss tube meant and um she said she felt kind of silly asking it but it's not a silly question um so floss tube is basically the the part tube comes from youtube so it's a youtube video and the floss is what um, cross stitchers use to stitch with some people call it thread some people call it floss um, so that's where floss tube came from. Um, Marnie asked, what is my cardigan pattern that I was wearing in my last video? So I, I knit a lot. I knit sweaters, cardigans, hats, um, shawls, socks, things like that. So the cardigan I was wearing in that video is called the featherweight cardigan and it's by Hannah Fetig. And you can find that pattern on Ravelry. And if you'd like to search for me on Ravelry, my profile name is same as this, Adelaide Cottage, where you can see all of my projects that I've knit. Where can you purchase the Whisper Thread that um, I showed, I used it for my little sheep virtues, for all the little sheep because it's kind of like a fluffy thread, um, and is it hard to stitch with? So I purchased it, um, I actually received it as a gift from, from a friend, but you can purchase it at 123stitch.com. Or I'm sure you can order it through your local needle workshop um, and a few other places online. If you just Google Whisper Thread or Whisper Floss, it should pop up. Um, and I think that's it for questions. If I missed any, ask them again. I'll try hard not to miss them for the next time. So, um, okay. Questions and answers are done. So I would like to go over my whips. I have two uh, whips that I worked on over the last week. So I'm not going to show the whips that I have been working on um, that I showed last week, but didn't get any work on this week. That made no sense. I'm not going to show the whips that I haven't worked on this week. There we go. I'm going to show the whips that I did work on. So this is a new um, start for me. I'm stitching Promise Me by Lizzie Kate. I just think that it is perfect to hang in our house for our boys to look at. Um, and I have changed the colors because I like to do that. Um, and these are the color changes I made. I'll show you after I show you the project. Um, this is what I have so far. Um, so this is being stitched on 32 count Legacy Belfast Linen, and it's a 12 by 17 piece, and I'm really loving it. Words stitch up so quickly. So I was stitching away up here, and the key wasn't that bad, and then I got to the flower, and I'm like, holy moly, it takes so much longer to stitch <laughs> things that are filled in rather than letters. It's a nice mixture. Um, okay, so this dark brown is Weeks Dye Works Rust. The light brown underneath it is Gentle Arts Ginger Cake, which is a limited edition, but I am obsessed with. I got kind of nervous, though, because I started with this Y, and it seemed like it was very close to this dark color. Um, but as I was like, I'm, I was going to rip it out, but then as I... Um, stitched along it got lighter and more variegated but I am obsessed with this color I love it um so it got you know it got better and then the green in the stem of the flower is Oscar by Week Style Works um the flower petals are um 
Victorian motto, My Potpourri. Um, and the gold in the key in the center of the flower is Whiskey by Leek Style Works. Um, and then for the little blue bird that's coming up soon, I am going to use Victorian motto, Southern Belle. Um, and then there's a couple of other colors that I'm throwing in there, but I really love this. Um, hoping to get this done this week sometime. Get it all finished. I don't know how I'm going to finish it yet. Um, it's going to be something cute and farmhousey, so I'll keep you updated. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so on to whip number two. This is my farmhouse Christmas because I received the chart um, about a week ago, I think. I don't remember. It was pretty quickly after it was released. I'm sure you've all seen this, but I'm trying to keep up with the series so that I can have it displayed for Christmas time. Um, so I started this Saturday night. Saturday night I worked on the border. And then Sunday, a lot of the day, um, I worked on this whole bottom part here. And I'm using all the called for threads, which if you haven't started this series yet, um, in my opinion, I don't think it's worth getting um, the hand over dyed flosses for the white. Um, and the dark brown, almost black. So um, the blackbird and the bamboo uh, classic color works. In my opinion, I don't feel like they're variegated almost at all. And I think the DMC would work just fine, but it's, it's okay. I ordered them, I have them, I'll use them. But the red definitely, I love the variegation. That's cherry cobbler and um, the brown and the green too. Looks really nice. So I'm enjoying this one. The little snowman has French knot eyeballs. <laughs> and this is just on my uh, 28 count coffee tea dyed Monaco using Priscilla and Chelsea's tutorial on their floss tube. And then I'm doing the border on all four sides. So I have to work on that too. So those are my two active whips for the week. And I also did some knitting. Um, so I've been keeping busy. Okay, um, so I talked about the playlist for Floss Tube. I'm also gonna be doing a stitch with me soon. Um, and then separately, I'm gonna do a knit with me. So I think that will be fun to do. Um, so I went to Before I get into that, I'm going to talk about a sale. Um, Jamie and Jordan of Basic Stitches uh, Floss Tube, I'll link their floss tube down, floss tube down below, um, decided that we really want to stitch our word plays by Brenda Gervais. I have the entire series and I did stitch up October's um, in September of last year. And I would really like to get these stitched because they're beautiful and I think it would be fun to have them out. Um, so we are going to do a sale. If you're interested in joining, please join. I am always about including everybody. I don't want anybody to feel excluded about anything. Um, and I remember last, last week I said um, for one of my giveaways that it was US only. I don't know why I said that. All of my giveaways will be US, open to US and international stitchy friends. Um, so I apologize that I said, I don't know where that came from. But um, yes, if you want to purchase these, I know that, um, oh, is it Country Stitches? Just Google Brenda Gervais <laughs> um, Cross Stitch Designs and her, her shop will come up. I believe it's countrystitchesonline.com maybe. Um, I'll try to link it below, but they have one of these for every month, um, and we are going to start on May 1st with the June wordplay, so that it's, you know, done and finished for June. 
So please join us and we are going to use the, oh, and um, Jeannie Swartz also that I mentioned earlier is also co-hosting with us. So that will be really fun. And if you're on Instagram, follow us all. I'll try to put all of our hashtags down below. And we're also using, not hashtags, um, usernames. We're also using the hashtag wordplay sale, wordplay sal for this so that you can post your progress and we can see how everybody's doing. So that's our, um, our little stitch along. So I hope you join us. Um, okay, so my local yarn, yarn, oh my gosh, it's such a habit to say that. Local needle workshop is an hour and 40 minutes away from me. It's in Rochester, New York. Um, I don't get to go there often, but the other day I didn't have my kids with me. Um, they were with their grandparents all day and evening, and my husband was working a long shift. So I was like, I'm going to have some mommy time and drive out there and see what they have. So I did. I took a ride. I packed a lunch. Um, it was really nice. I brought a nice thermos of coffee on the way and um, listened to a few podcasts and some good music and you know, I went in there and I spent, it was a little over two hours in there. was chit chatting with the shop owner and the other stitchers that were in there and it was so much fun I'm like I wish you guys were closer to me it would be so much fun to have um an LNS so those of you who have one close to you you're very lucky um but I did purchase a few things they didn't carry they don't carry any um fabrics which I was kind of surprised um but I did get, and they didn't have any that I saw, Little House Needleworks, no Country Cottage Needleworks, which is okay. I mean, they're pretty easy to find, but I was just kind of surprised at that. And Very Little Prairie Schooler, I was there to find some of those. Um, they just had a couple Christmas ones. But I did find these, so I got a Weeks Dyeworks Tin Roof. Um, I was looking for a color that's kind of sage and with a little bit of gray. And I think I got it because that's the color of our house. And there's a chart that I want to stitch that has, it's like a home sweet home or whatever. And I would like to, I would like for it to look like our house. So, um, and then this one I got mauve, which is my very favorite color. So if there's anything named mauve. I shall buy it. Obsessed with, with Move. I picked up um, Lizzie Kate Buzzy String. I have um, six, I believe, of the Lizzie Kate Flip It Christmas Blessings with the charm. So I picked up the ones that I didn't have that they had. I'm still missing three of them. So that's Charity, Song, and these are like a small ornament size if you haven't seen them yet.
This is home. Giving. And then I have, um, I have five more in my stash. And then this one is um, the Just Another Button Company Cup of Tea collection. So I have the June teapot from the teapot collection, but then there was a July um, like patriotic teacup and I collect teacups and I just thought it was way too cute. So I'll, if I can remember, I'll insert a picture here of what it looks like finished at the LNS. but um, it comes with these cute patriotic buttons. And then this I purchased new on Stash Unloading, um, Lizzie Kate B59 Inspiration Boxer. Love that. And it comes with the um, lamb's wool linen and the threads, it looks like. Maybe not the threads, but I can see the linen in there. Um, what else did I get? Oh, from the shop, the LNS, I purchased Bent Creek Spring Soap Box. Can you even, I'll start at the bottom, but can you even handle the chicken on top? Look at the little chick popping out of that thingamajig. It's like a jack-in-the-box. A chick-in-the-box. Chick-in-the-egg with the chick on, chicken on top. It's so cute. Um, and then I found the winter one on um, Stash Unload that I purchased, but I haven't received it yet. I purchased just a small pair of scissors with a cap. Um, let's see. And then this so that's what I got at the LNS, along with a few other things that I'm going to use for giveaways. Um, and then I found this on Stash Unload, Stash Unload Ing, um, new. It's the Lizzie Kate ABC Christmas kit. So it comes with all of the overdyed threads, which I have been eyeing this for such a long time, and I'm so glad I found it. So it comes with all of those. And I got a pretty good deal on that, so... And then this one I purchased on Etsy, I think. Prairie Schooler, Boo to You. I thought those were really, really cute and festive. And then it came with a freebie. And then I picked this up at Joann's. The Punch Needle and Primitive um, Stitcher Magazine. There were quite a few designs in there that I'd like to try. And I would really like to try Punch Needle because I need more crafts in my life. But that's a really good magazine, and I love that Vanna is on the back. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of her. Vanna of the Twisted um, uh, Stitcher. I'll link her below as well, but I'm sure you've all seen her and love her. But if you haven't, check her out. She's awesome. Um, and then I got some Happy Mail. Um, my friend Erica who has recently um, gotten back into stitching, has an Etsy shop where she sells project bags and um, little pouches and um, knitting needle holders. And she sent me a few knitting magazines and she added this. She does all, it, her shop's called The Scrappy Thread and I'll link it below. And she does all of this, like, scrappy patchwork beautifulness. Um, and she included a couple of things inside. Beautifully made. Um, and this would be really nice for your notions, um, your scissors. So it's got a zip top, a little pull tab to help you open and close. And then she included for me... Um, these adorable counting pins and a little needle carry case. So 
So thank you, Erica. That was very sweet. Stitchy kindness. It's just wonderful. Um, and then I got my Victoria Motto um, Floss Club. And I ordered the primitive colors. This one is Flesh, if you haven't seen it already. Primitive Cocoa. Gold Accent. And they're showing up pretty true to color. Um, Rustic Greens, which is pretty cool. You can see the green down there. English Foxglove. And Cream. It's always nice to have just a basic variegated cream color. Okay, so that's it for my haul. And I'm sure I'm not going to have a haul every week that I record. Who am I kidding? I probably will. Um, but I want to announce giveaway winners for, um, the Lizzie Kate Happy Happy Easter chart that I'm giving away and, um, the Raise the Roof Designs Spooky Fence. So last week I asked everybody to comment with, with which, um, chart they would like and the winner of the Happy Happy Easter by Lizzie Kate is Linda Hartsfield. So congratulations, Linda. Um, get a hold of me via Instagram, um, YouTube, private message. You can email me at um, s underscore morath, M-O-R-A-T-H, at yahoo.com. And um, just give me your mailing information, and I'll send this out to you. The winner of Spooky Fence is Cat crazy creations um, and that's Sonia and she actually has um, a floss tube she's a multi crafter so she does videos on crochet and stitching um, and I believe that she's the one hosting the stitchy carousel that's going around where you kind of like put patterns in a box and send them to somebody and take what you want and replace it with some of your stash and send it along which I thought was a really cool idea I didn't find out about it until watching Pam and Steph's um, video, which is another floss tube that I absolutely adore. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. But she was the lucky winner of this. So Sonia, get a hold of me um, however you are able to as soon as you can, and I'll ship that out to you. So congratulations to our winners. This week I'm giving away one of the Bright Needle Eliza James Needle Keep and Scissors Flat Kits. Um, it's not a complete kit. It comes with um, two hand-dyed wool squares um, for you to put, put the needles in. So yeah, that's what I'm giving away. So if you're interested in stitching it um, or in winning it to be eligible to be entered to win, um, just type in the comments, um, I'd like to stitch the needle keep. That'll be easy. We'll do it on um, Michelle Bendy stitchy style. Another floss tube that I love. <laughs> there are so many. I'll link her below. She's amazing. Check out her floss tube. Um, so I'd like to stitch. I'd like to stitch. I'd like to stitch the needle keep. If you if you would like to be entered to win this, and I'll announce the winner on the next floss tube. So let me make sure. I covered everything. It looks like I did. Yeah, I think that's it for this week. So I'm going to finish up my grandpa's pickup on the farmhouse Christmas series. I'm going to stitch that corner border for the top right hand corner and I'm going to work on my um, promise me. And then if I have time, I'll go on to Christmas land again because I adore that chart. I love stitching that. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful, happy, safe 
lots of stitchy time kind of week. And I think I'll be back with you during the week for a stitch with me. So look out for that. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video so that other people looking for floss tubes, um, I may pop up in the recommended feed so that they can see if they enjoy it. Um, and hit subscribe if you enjoyed it and then you'll get the notifications when I post new videos. So thank you again so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.